Health workers have raised concerns about the increase in childhood burns reported at health facilities in the country. With only three burn intensive care units in the country, plastic surgeons are worried that facilities at the units are overstretched. Hence, the need for more education on basic safety measures, especially at homes. The World Health Organization estimates that burn injuries account for 180,000 deaths annually and are the fifth most common cause of non-fatal childhood injuries. The health sector shows that children account for almost half of the population that present with severe burn injury at health facilities. Children under five years account for 50 to 80 percent of all childhood burns. In Ghana, 92 percent of pediatric burns occur in homes, 51 percent in the kitchen and 36 percent within the compound and thus is more prevalent in rural communities. I see about 70 to 100 or even more every year. During the COVID era, we had a lot of children also getting bans from um, maybe mismanagement of sanitizers. They play with the sanitizers, light fire around it, and then their clothes end up catching fire and they, they get, uh, they suffer bans. Dr. Samuel Prince Nyoma is the Vice President of the Public Health Alliance International Ghana against childhood bans. 20% of kids that get admitted as a result of bans do not make it out. It means that 20% die in the hospital. And so we thought that this was quite alarming. I mean, why would you, know, you have 100 kids coming in and 20 kids not returning? That is not supposed to be the case. And so really that is what led to the birth of um, this project that has to do with our campaign against pediatric burns. Currently, there are only three major burns centers in the country, the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, Konfanochi Teaching Hospital, and Tamil Teaching Hospital. At these centers, the focus is more on treatment than rehabilitation, hence leaving many victims to deal with the physical and psychological effects of their injuries. The Ben Intensive Care Unit Confanoti Teaching Hospital in Kumasi, opened in February 2001, has only eight beds with three surgeons and three specialized burn ward nurses. Considering the number of beds you get in a year, this could be a problem. For example, in the, the whole of the middle and northern center of Ghana, have just a 10 bed capacity in Confanoti four ICU spaces and six regular burn uh, ward spaces. And they see more than, um, they see patients from like 12 regions in Ghana. So most of the time, almost always, these wards are full. And sometimes patients who suffer pain do not even get access there because the, the wards are already full. Sometimes we are forced to discharge these patients so that the very critically ill patients can occupy the best spaces. Alfred Donko described how his son got bent when hot water poured on him. Dr. Park with Sifi Fi Yangsen cited lack of basic education on safety precautions as factors for the high prevalence of burns among children. He also called on individuals and corporate institutions to adapt fire safety measures to prevent accidents. As caregivers, let's also have time for them. Let's pay attention to them when they are playing, especially when we are cooking or when we seem very busy. Sometimes if you have a toddler or um, a young boy or girl and you realize that they are quiet, you are not hearing them, you should follow up to see what they are doing. They may be doing something that could eventually harm them or injure them. And also a special advice to our uh, grandmothers especially who like to bath their children thoroughly with hot water. We've had <laughs> new needs who have sustained pains because the grandmother was trying to put hot water on them around their backs and then they end up having severe pains.